when you see your dermatologist and they do a skin examination, or if you have a lesion on your skin that you're worried about and you go in to have that spot evaluated, the dermatologist is gonna look at your skin and if they decide that a lesion is suspicious and it might be skin cancer, they're often going to decide to do a skin biopsy. So when we think about a biopsy in general, sometimes we think that this means taking a little piece of something just to get a diagnosis. And for some skin cancers, that's true. When we have a lesion, however, that we think might be melanoma, we don't want just a little piece of it. We really want, if at all possible, the entire lesion. So we want that one, to make sure we get an accurate diagnosis. And two, we want to look at the whole lesion because we want to know um, important prognostic factors or factors about that lesion that would tell us how serious it is and what needs to be done next. So we remove the whole lesion so we get an accurate diagnosis. And so we know things like what subtype of melanoma is it? Melanoma can be um, what we call in situ, meaning very thin. It just sits at the top layer of skin. Um, those are not aggressive in behavior and they can just be removed surgically. And in general, that's all that needs to be done for melanoma in situ. Um, there are forms of melanoma that are, um, one is called superficial spreading. It is um, started to become invasive or go deeper into the skin, but it's generally in the slower growth phase. And then we're using the thickness or how deep the melanoma goes into the skin to decide the next step, to decide, can we just remove it in the office with a surgery with wider margins? Or do we need to send you to an onco a surgical oncologist who can remove that lesion and also the um, sample the draining lymph nodes to determine if that melanoma may have spread beyond the skin. So getting the whole lesion is important to get all of that information. There are also some newer tests that can give us some information. So a small lesion located on the back, um, perhaps a, a skin biopsy is a relatively straightforward procedure. Maybe the patient's not very worried about the scarring in that case. And so that might be a, a situation where we say, let's just go straight to biopsy. Um, perhaps there's reasons why the, uh, somebody might be at increased risk of infection with a biopsy. It's in a very cosmetically sensitive area, like the middle of the face. Um, maybe you're really apprehensive about having a skin biopsy. So there are other tests that can be done. Um, one test is something called the pigmented lesion assay or the PLA. And this is basically a sticker that can be placed over that skin lesion or that mole, and it can be removed and sent off to a lab. In the lab, um, the, the, um, the lab can actually take that sticker and from that little bit of tissue that came off with the piece of tape, they can look at the expression of genes, um, one called link and one called prame. And we know that these are genes that are associated with um, the progression of a mole to melanoma. So we find these in pretty early melanomas. So if those are expressed in your mole, that would suggest that it's more likely to be a melanoma and doing a biopsy is really a good idea. There's also, um, a mutation in the DNA and something called a TERT promoter. So it's something that helps to regulate how um, cells live and die. And if that, if a mutation in that area is positive, it is also suggestive that that lesion is a melanoma. So if your dermatologist does this test and any one of those are present, they're generally going to recommend that you come back and have that mole removed. Um, if they're negative, they may say it's safe to just monitor that spot. If you have a, a lesion that you're worried about or your dermatologist is worried about, um, they may suggest that further testing needs to be done. Some questions you can ask are, do I need a biopsy? Are there any other alternatives? Would it be safe to monitor this either with something like a PLA that gives us some genetic information first, or sometimes even just with photographs of the mole um, and maybe one taken through the dermatoscope. And then if they, if your dermatologist has a high level of suspicion, they're really going to suggest that they need to take that off to get a definitive answer 
which is having a dermatopathologist, somebody who specializes in reading skin biopsies, look at that to make a diagnosis. Um, if the level of suspicion is maybe moderate or lower, they may suggest that monitoring or using something like the PLA is an option. And then you can talk about what kind of biopsy is best, best for you. Um, there are shave biopsies and punch biopsies. The most important thing is that any of these techniques can be used, but it is really important that you get the whole lesion. So you don't wanna take a small piece with a shave or a punch. You really wanna take the whole thing out. And that's an important part of making the correct diagnosis.